I'm thinking I like mushrooms more than the actual shoe. Did y'all hear that? No, for real, for real, I'm not playing. Like, see? Comac, is that you? I hope so. You can, you can Google this stuff. It's all Googleable. I used to watch a lot of Jason movies growing up, so when I hear that, ch 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 Man, I'm glad I made it home alive from that one. Jeez. Anyways, guys, peace and love. Here we go again with another Jordan 1 video. These were sent to me by L Kicks. I think last time I was saying something like this. I-K-I-K. -I Okay, so it's actually L-K-K-I-K-S, and they're an amazing company. They keep sending me stuff. I mean, I can't be mad at that. They sent me the blue Yeezys. They got something else on the way, and they sent me these, so we're good friends right now. And of course, I don't recommend the selling manufacturer of UA or fake sneakers. Selling UAs as retail is, it's, it's not ideal. I wouldn't do it. So what do we have here? What do we have here? We have the yellow Ochers is what their nickname. They came out of the... What do they call that pack? It was like the um, best hand pack. That's what it was. That explains the, the inside. I'll show that a little later. But these dropped like on the 5th or the 9th of May of 2018. So that's about three years ago at this point. And I wasn't really too hype about them. For some reason, these are going around like crazy. And like three or four people tried to send me these. And I actually have another pair coming, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Can't complain. But just check out some of the details here. Like yellow is always a winner for me on sneakers especially with this type of color blocking this is my favorite color blocking for jordan one so it doesn't matter what color they throw in the back um heel it's gonna work for me i think like the rust pinks might be my favorite in this type of colorway and these are just some close-ups i gotta turn my light down in my little setup so you can see like the leather and there's a few swipes for you guys but Got to kick the light down so you can see some of the details. And these are made well, but they really, really remind me of the igloos that I did a while back. Like, I swear it's the same materials, except this is suede and the igloos didn't have a suede back. It was just regular leather, but the construction, the black leather, it's really familiar. And looking at a picture of Stock X, the swoosh on these it looks like it's tumbled leather and that's just from what i see on stock x so i don't i don't i really don't know I, I like them the way they are but um man these details man they're really nice though they are really nice like having two pairs it's not going to be in the end of the world but you know it is what it is so prepare yourself for another video but from the research i was doing it looks like these did not come to the united states from what i was reading it looks like they were all like an international release everybody got them even africa we didn't, we didn't even get them over here i don't know what's up with that but looking at the black light well, looking at these under the black light there's things as you can see there there were things there were markings i did not try to clean these off i should have i said i was going to do that one day maybe on the next pair the next pair that comes I'll, I'll try that but there are some markings i don't know if they miss the mark when they do that or they just need to clean that stuff off like look around the toe box Yeesh. But I'm sure some soap and water can get that off. I promise next time I'll try to clean it off. So there's the MVP. And here's a screenshot or a picture I took of the insides of that. Um, and for some reason, I mean, I like, I know Jordan liked to gamble. So I guess this he used to wear the yellow Ochers back when in his gambling days. I don't really know. They just look dope. So when I get that next pair, I'll compare that pair to this pair. And we'll see if the same batch is going around or if these are just better. So, and while we're waiting here for the on foot to kick in, let's go ahead and like the video, subscribe. Sharon's actually the best option. Yo, peace and love, guys. Peace and love, guys. When that last video was crazy um the whole mushroom thing yeah again don't try anything that colo does in his videos at home because i'm not responsible for you and i have no idea how that's going to turn out for you um we have these um okras ochers i do have another pair on the way and how does that happen how does that happen then they say they're going to gift you something right and then they go ghost on you for a couple weeks you hear nothing and then somebody else comes along 
and they'll say hey I'll, I'll gift you that sneaker I'll gift you it right now and then they do and then somebody else comes along the way and says hey you still want this and I'm like nah I already I already have that coming my way and then they say well too late it's already on the way so it is what it is it's another sneaker I love the sneaker it's a beautiful sneaker at first I was a little bit I was a little worried about this sneaker first because it reminds me of those igloos that I did and the quality on those were a little questionable but people were telling me afterwards like that's just how they're supposed to be like with the black leather and all that and the toe box and all that that's just apparently how they're supposed to be I don't really know I just make the videos so let's get some on foot so funny well it's not actually funny at all i finally figured out who made this big old mural painting thing let's let's go figure out let's, let's go see over here yeah so shout out to scotch scotch underscore willington this some dope art i swear i feel like i'm a little fat in the face i am cheeseburgers Sorry guys, but this video is not going to be as fun as the mushroom video. Since I'm doing this video twice, I just got to keep it pushing. And that's just one of the things that you deal with as a content creator, video person, film person, whatever you want to call yourself. That's what you just deal with when you want to get like free sneakers. Because people think it's just, you know, getting a box in the mail and then turning the camera on and then making a video. No, there's a lot of work. And I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining. You know what I mean? I mean, my DMs are filled with, besides... Who has the best Travis Scott one and Jordan ones with how do you get free shoes are really technically not free because I'm having to exchange something for the sneakers you know what I mean like there is an exchange this is an exchange of energy this is an exchange of my time but I do love it though don't act like I don't I, I do love this I do love what I do and he even painted the pole the way you communicate with people over there across the water across whatever you want to call it I just want to make sure you communicate as basic and as politely as possible because you don't know ooh, I have my camera in the worst spot in the world I just put my I just put my $1,700 camera on something very unstable but hold on let me move a little bit closer that's not even better that's not better that's not better all right I'll just make it quick but make sure I'm gonna hold it I gotta I gotta hold this thing this is 1700 bucks on this a little bit I'll show you what I'm holding it on just make sure that you're kind of like you know keeping it polite and short like don't don't try to explain a whole bunch of stuff to them using all these fancy words I mean, you'd probably be better off using emojis with them, but just make sure polite, short, you know what I'm saying? If there's an issue, I mean, it is what it is, but just keep it short. You know, those are my tips. That's why I've been doing this so long without any issues. Like, I think they love you, boy, over there, but just, you know, just, just be nice. Just be nice. That's all. Try not to upset them, you know? They, they could do anything to your package. You know what I'm saying? They could put anything in your package. And I'm not saying that they will, and that's not that been done to me, but just make sure that fall camera, please don't fall, please don't fall. You wash your hands when you're opening these packages. There's a lot of precautions to take, you know what I'm saying? Everything's getting checked by customs. I don't know if you guys knew about that, like Nike's supposed to be partnering up with customs to kind of slow things down. I don't know. We're here, we're making this video, so I, I really don't know what goes on over there in the politics. If I keep getting gifts, I'm gonna keep making videos. And it's just always so funny when you're like talking to the camera, which is really nobody at the moment. And then people are like 10 feet away just looking at you like you're some kind of caged animal. Mm -hmm. 